Mike, I know there are growing concerns about the seriousness of this drought situation that we're in. Right. So for the first time uh, this season, we saw some extreme drought register in Minnesota, and that's the first time since 2013 that we've seen that. And that stretch actually began back at the end of 2012, wow. uh, September of 2012. And we've seen, obviously, the drought across the West increase and get worse as well. And that's been driving some of the smoke we've seen, the haze in our skies because of wildfires. I want to compare 2019 in in June versus just a couple of weeks ago, looking at California reservoirs. This is from NASA. This is really shocking. So these are some of the reservoirs that provide the drinking water for Californians. Uh, so this is 2019 from space, and this is a couple of weeks ago from space. All that tan color you see around the edges of these reservoirs, that is the water level lowering and dry ground being exposed. And you can kind of think of this like a bathtub, a ring around your bathtub as the water drains out. We can see it from space. Uh, and it's not just here. It's uh, reservoirs like Lake Mead, for example, uh, formed by the Hoover Dam. That has been seeing a similar uh, drawdown. And so when we talk about climate change, it's completely counterintuitive that we could be talking about both drought and flooding, as we saw earlier in this newscast in Germany, being caused by climate change. But the fact is that when you mess with the Earth's energy balance by trapping more heat, that starts to change the way storms move. And so what we see is an increase in the extremes on both ends. Weather patterns becoming stagnant, this happening with big areas of dry weather setting up and just staying in place. And then what we saw happen in Germany, where heavy rain falls. In the end, when you average it across the globe, there is more water falling on the globe on average. But in individual communities, the impact is vastly different. And one of the reasons we have been so hot around here this summer is because the ground is so dry. Dry ground is really easy to heat compared to ground that has moisture in it. And so we have racked up already more than our average number of 90 degree plus days an entire year 